Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome to today's design team project for Craft Galley. And today we're going to have a lot of fun with an awesome new product. But before we get to that, it is giveaway time. So last Saturday, we did a quick giveaway talking about what you were looking forward to in the spring. And our winner is the Frolicking Fairy. Can I just say, side note, love that handle. So cute. Um, Frolicking Fairy, go ahead and email at the email listed here. And we will get your $10 off coupon code uh, sent to you. Thank you so much to everyone who participated with the giveaway. All right, so let's start and talk about this project today. So I actually have never tried to use any light up products for my cards. I think that maybe I've been a little bit intimidated by them in the past and maybe that they took too long and I just did not ever give it a try. But I have to tell you that these memory lights that I'm going to show you the process for are absolutely amazing. So they are so easy to use. Everything is pretty much done for you. Uh, very simple, um, easy to follow. And so I'm going to show you that process as we go through the card. So you can see here as I'm chatting on that I'm just masking out a scene and I'm just going to be using some Memento Black ink. I am using the new Lawn Fawn, one of the new releases, and this stamp set is called Totally Awesome, and I just love it. Now, I'm pretty sure I can speak for most people, especially in the North, that you are just about over winter, and so today I am going to bring this spring slash summery card to us to get us a little break from all the snow and all of the coldness. Now, it's not snowing here in Florida, but it is a little chilly, and today it's raining. So, all right, what I'm doing is I have stamped out my scene and I used Memento Black ink because I am going to be using some alcohol markers. Then I masked off everything and I used some sticky post-it notes from just, you know, the office supply store and they're full sticky pads. I cut out all my images, I masked, and now I'm Distress Oxide Blending. I'm using Peacock Feathers and Faded Jeans to get my look here. And it was a little challenging because at nighttime, everything's kind of blue or black, right? But I kind of wanted to make a little bit, I didn't want to do black water and a black sky. <laughs> so I went with this. Maybe we can say this is kind of like at dusk. Okay, so I'm finishing up all of my um, ink blending here. And the last final touch, I actually added a little bit of black soot. And that was just to give a little bit more of that nighttime scene. Once that's finished, I'm going to start removing my mask. And this is where all of this is like Christmas. It looks so awesome. Um, and I, those little, whatever those things are coming out of the water. I don't know what they're called. But those were a little challenging to mask. Um, but I made it work. And there are a little bit of white lines around it, so I just go in with a marker that matches. Okay, so I'm starting my alcohol ink. Now, I have to tell you, you know, two years ago when I started uh, coloring quite a bit, maybe a full year ago is when I really started with alcohol markers, um, I really was not hmm, confident, I guess I could say. And I'm getting there. It really, practice really does help. <laughs> said the most obvious statement of the day. It really does though. I actually, bear with me here, but I actually put in some light sourcing here because the moon is coming from above. So look, it's shining on his face. I know you're all probably like, yeah, duh, that's where the light source is. But anyway, I was really excited about it. So I'm going through and a little challenging with the coloring because lily pads are green, frogs are green. You can make frogs different colors, but I was going for the green. So I made the lily pads a little lighter and then those things sticking out of the water, a little lighter than that. Okay, so here are the amazing memory lights. This is how it comes packaged. So here it is in its glory. It's finished for you. That's it. You put it on your card. Did you hear what I said? That's it. There's no lining up anything. There's no drawing out positive and negatives. There's none of that. This is just you find a place to put it on your card and you put it on your card. But if I want two lights on my card, this is where this add-on piece comes. And what you do is you just make sure the copper touches copper, silver touches silver, and they don't cross. If they're when they're going to cross, because that's pretty much how you're going to have to make it work on your card, you're going to put down a little piece of tape. I'm going to show you how all this works, but I'm just showing you right now that when you line them up, when they touch each other, you can actually have the two lights light up here. I'm showing you that right now. 
And so they're wrapped around each other. And there we go. Now we have two lights. And you can add three. And you can add four. It doesn't matter. It's endless. So we'll get back to that. But I wanted to finish off my card panel before I actually start putting this card together. Now I went into an old Lawn Fawn set. I believe it's called Summertime. Hello, Summertime. I'll list it below. Um, but I went back into that and I pulled out the little lightning bugs. Um, what do you call them? I call them lightning bugs. Some people call them glow bugs. Um, anyway, they're cute and they remind me of summer. So did you see I just folded the memory lights right there because on itself because it was a little too long. So I want to make sure I'm getting my placement here and I'm putting this down and I'm going to see where about because I want the moon to light up. I want my moon and my lightning bug to light up. So I'm just making sure that that's good. And I'm drawing out a little pencil line just so that I can make sure if I move this, I could just put it right back into its place. So easy peasy right there. Okay, now the next thing I'm doing is my additional light is I'm going to figure out where my lightning bug is. And so I'm just lining that up underneath my lightning bug and we're all good. And now I'm just going to start taping stuff down. So the first uh, main board here, I'm going to tape down. Now I do remove a little bit of that tape later because um, I need to actually touch the wire. But for now, I'm just going to put down my two pieces of tape. Now, if a copper wire touches the silver that's covered in tape, it won't matter. It's not touching. They have to actually physically be touching in order for it to work or not work. Okay? So um, so what I've done now is I'm going to start sticking my, my little wires in around. I slide in the silver one, and I'm going to fold that up on itself. And then I slide in the copper one and fold that over as well on itself. And so here you see me doing that. And I did remove a little piece of that tape um, on the copper just so that I could get this in there. And that's, that's all you need. And they're really light and thin and bendy. And it makes it so simple to do. So um, here we go. I'm just working this around. Now I want it to, again, sliding it down a little bit so that it has some placement. And I fold it over on itself. And then I'm just going to find some place to do it. You can cut that wire off um, if you need to because we're not using it. And it's not attached to anything. So that just makes it really simple. All right. So once I get that down, I make sure the lights work. And they do. I just tested them out. I'm going to tape down some more just so that it doesn't shift around. And then this will be reinforced with some foam tape. But for now, I just want it to lay down with some tape. Okay. So it's looking good. Everything's in place. I'm going to put a little tape runner behind the first light, the main light, and then the, the other light has a little removable piece you can just peel off and it'll stick right down to your paper. Honestly, I think the main board did too. I just didn't catch it. So here I'm going to double up all my tape. I wanted to double up because I didn't want anything poking through the paper, kind of weird. And so I'm just making sure all that's good, testing out my light. And I can't figure out why it's not working because it was turned around. <laughs> dope. So now it's working. Everything's good to go. I'm going to put that aside and finish off my panel here with a sentiment and it's going to say you brighten my day. And that's going to be heat embossed with some wow super fine embossing powder. And um, I'm going to heat set that with my Wagner heat tool. And then I'm going to write in press right above that little thing above his head. So did not plan on that at all when I was putting that card seen together, but it worked out beautifully. So now I am peeling off all of my masking, sorry, my 3M foam mounting tape, and I'm going to place my card down straight as possible, and I am going to make sure that it is stuck like Chuck, because I don't need the shift in, move in, nothing. So it's going good. All right, so now we're going to, of course, I'm testing it out along the way, but um, everything looks good. I'm going to finish off this card with some final details and a couple of those details I'm going to add some dots to the frog. I'm going to use some um, a blender and then brown on his tummy and then I am finished. Now I do, well here wait let me be quiet I'll show you the little light situation. There we go it lights up and it was so easy. Okay, so I did finish off this card with some glossy accents over the lily pads because every picture I found of a lily pad was super shiny. <laughs> And um, there's some still photos for you. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you uh, liked this video. And don't forget to go check out the items in the Craft Galley shop. 
There are so many awesome new releases, not to mention these amazing memory lights over there. So until next time, we hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.